Jackie, we are doing some pairings, as they say. We have a sommelier in the house, and we're going to talk about what goes best. Let's say you're serving of this today, maybe to your group, some lovely cured meats, and then you have your entree. And finally, the best part, the dessert. So we're going to talk about what drinks go best with all of these. And more importantly, we're going to talk about how you can get a great deal on a meal in the city of Detroit. It's coming up. great chance to visit a restaurant that you might not think you have the budget for because Detroit Restaurant Week is continuing. It's coming back, I should say, and it's 10 days where you can visit many Detroit restaurants and you get a three course meal for 28 bucks a person. Say hello to Joseph Allerton, the sommelier at Roast, which is the restaurant inside the book Cadillac. Yes, correct. Yeah. Welcome, Joseph. Well, thank you for having me. Tell me about, first of all, they renovated that whole place. Fabulous. Yeah. And how is the restaurant doing and do you find that people enjoy going into that building that has been under such you Definitely. Know, renovation? It, a lot of people have a lot of memories with yeah. that building and they come in and kind of relive that and experience it now that it's open and restored and uh, you know the restaurant's doing really well. I think the hotel is, is a big part of that too so that's great. So at Roast, now you're the sommelier yeah. But you're so young. Are you allowed to drink yourself? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I've okay. uh, been doing it for a while. All right. So, and so, what do you serve at Roast mainly? What kind of food? We have a we're a meat house, so we have chops and steaks and uh, all sorts of cured meats. A lot okay. of a lot of different meats. We also do fish and seafood though too. So, all right, very, very versatile good. Menu. So that's why you brought this. So this you do actually in the restaurant. These cured meats. We some do of uh, some of these terrines are cured in house, okay. uh, or, and uh, what we have is our charcuterie board here. This is uh, what we're going to be featuring as one of our appetizer selections for Restaurant Week. We have a soppressata, a chorizo, we do a prosciutto, we have a pork confit terrine here, and then we're doing a country pork terrine with uh, dried cherries and pistachios, and it's wrapped in a uh, house cured bacon. We do a little garnish wow. here with the crostinis and the stone ground mustard, and then uh, some pickled peppers, fresnos and jalapenos, little pickled red onions as well. Uh, with this one, uh, it's really fun to pair with some of these uh, Belgium yeah. style beers. So what would you serve to drink with all those uh, right salty Right here meats? we have uh, Leland Our Brewing Company's Whaleback White Ale, yeah. uh, which is done as like a Belgium wit beer style, but it's actually brewed in Dexter, Michigan, where, where uh, Jolly Pumpkin specializes in these, these Belgium style very ales. Very good. So they're very fun, uh, very authentic. They use French oak for them, and they actually come off and, and end up being a little bit more like wine than they are like beer because they have higher acidity really? and uh, more fruity aromatics and flavor to them. So it's it's got a lot of orange zest and lemon zest quality that really right. refreshes you after eating these richer meats like the salami. Oh, it does smell. Yeah, I mm -hmm. can smell it actually. Okay, good. And then now this decanter is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. And that is that helping the wine to breathe? I mean, is it just Definitely. to look good? It's we got a purpose. We, yeah, it, it aerates the wine, uh, gets it to kind of open up and start to come together a little little quicker, which is really useful in the restaurant. Uh, we decant all of our red wines and some of our whites there, and it really right. uh, gets them opening up to the guests a little quicker. Okay, so this is a um, what is this? I can't describe this right it like here is, you can. is our beast of the day. This is a okay. sucking pig, but we also roast uh, whole goats and lambs uh, and slow roast them in the dining room at roast. Really? Uh, this right here is all, all pulled uh, suckling pig. Yeah. We do a natural jus, uh, a little salsa verde that's made in house, pickled peppers again to garnish, and then um, here is a little uh, crispy pig skin to kind of give you that good texture. Yeah. Uh, this one, uh, <laughs> it's very fun to pair with uh, more leaner, finesse red wines. So what I have here is a very interesting wine, um, a new project out of Arizona actually. Yes. Uh, it's called Caduceus Cellars. It's a premier paso that they do, 2007. They're actually blending a white grape, the Malvasia Bianca, yeah. with Syrah to kind of soften out the Syrah and give it more aromatics like dried violets and more dark you, berry. It's very right, good. Let's move on to, you want to pour this? Yes. Sure. All right, you pour it. You're the expert. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, wait. Before we move on to our next one, mm -hmm. let's talk about restaurant week real quick because it starts sure. on the 24th. It starts next Friday and runs 10 days through Sunday, October 3rd, 18 restaurants. It's 28 bucks for a three course meal. And we've got all the restaurants listed on myfoxdetroit.com. All right, real quick, tell us about the dessert wine. Here we have uh, Palo Cortado from uh, Bodega Hidalgo. It's a style of sherry where it's a dry sherry. Yeah. And it's uh, very interesting. There's so many different styles of sherry, but this one in particular, I love it because it's actually got this little bit of a salty content and uh, caramely, nutty, like almond quality to it, which is very fun to pair with these Sounds chocolate desserts. Sounds like dessert, desserts. right? Yeah, <laughs> and it is. It's like dessert in a glass, but it's not too sweet, but it does have good richness. What is, are these these little uh, chocolate covered pretzels? Yeah, we do this uh, chocolate butter? trifle here. We yeah. got the chocolate covered pretzels to top it. Yeah. We have a caramel marmalade and uh, definitely some chocolate cake. And mm -hmm. uh, there's also some uh, 
milk chocolate whipped cream on that. Joseph, this has been enlightening. I didn't understand about half of it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you for coming in. I could listen to you talk about this stuff all day. Jack, would you like to sample anything? Uh, I don't know if we're allowed to. Are we allowed I don't to? Know if we're, allowed to. we're always wondering if we're allowed to drink alcohol. I'll, I'll try the red Let's here. Go I'm ahead. Ahead. the chocolate covered pretzel that Dina touched. All right. Uh, right <laughs> all right. Yeah. Very good. good. Okay, so Detroit Restaurant Week, it's a great way to support these restaurants and uh, get some really good food, too. Oh, that's, that's very nice. Very nice. She's got quite the palate, too. Yeah, yeah she line. said that three times now this morning. <laughs> uh, well, I'm impressed. All right, thanks, Joseph. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll be back.